Reflecting the withdrawal of policy stimulus last year and slowing global demand, growth will likely moderate to about 8% to around 8% uh, this year in China. We support the authorities' ongoing efforts to promote higher quality growth, while at the same time fine-tuning macroeconomic policies to help ensure that growth does not slow too much. Over the past several years, China's made significant progress in reducing external imbalances. The current account surplus, for example, has declined from sh very sharply from nearly 10% of GDP in 2007 to a little less than 3% of GDP last year. And the real trade-weighted value of the renminbi has appreciated. With these developments, the undervaluation of the currency has been reduced. We at the IMF now assess the renminbi to be moderately undervalued against a broad basket of currencies. The external rebalancing has come in large part with an increasing reliance on investment. This fact brings with it a set of risks around the worthiness of those investments and the sustainability of this approach. As the government acknowledges, reforms are needed to achieve quality growth that relies less on investment, more on consumption, and is environmentally friendly. In our view, these should include measures to raise household income, liberalize the financial system, strengthen the social security system, while also lowering social contribution rates, appreciate the exchange rate, and increase the cost of various inputs to production.